sense. Learn a little sense. Take a lesson. Learn it all. Welcome back, guys, to another Dork Lessons tutorial. And right here, we are talking about Human Torch and how to get around his abilities, mainly the SP1 and the SP2. And we'll talk about the other stuff just a little bit. So let's concentrate on this SP1. We want to concentrate on how to dex and how to counter because you don't want to miss those opportunities to return attack. So as you can see here, it is four rapid fire dexes, one after the other. And if you execute it properly, you can then turn around and counter and return attack. Now, while these are four dexes in a row right after the other, you do want to know where your entry point is, and it is right here. As soon as his arm is extended, that is your first dex point, and then it's rapid fire dex from there. Okay, let's work with the sounds and the visuals. All right, let's jump on into the SP2. Now this one can be tricky if you don't time it right, so you have to get that second dex right on time. Let's take another look. And one more time, slow down. So we have our initial dex and the second dex and the third to clear the space. And then we come in for a counter attack. Okay, let's hit these sound cues. Now in terms of his basic ability, he's very easy to sidestep because his medium attack is very invasive and it'll give you more than enough space and time to counter. Now I found there's an inconsistency in Human Torch's medium attack when he returns attack after a 5 hit combo. Sometimes it extends a little farther than it normally would. And as far as I can tell, I can't find any way to actually reproduce it. So this kind of happens at random. So just something to keep an eye out for. Now it's a good idea to stay away from energy damage or using a mystic because you're going to build up these smolder charges as well as bring up his temperature by five. Now once he has these smolder charges in place, this increases his chance to incinerate you when you are attacking him by 10% for each charge that he has. Not to mention it increases by 10% for each incinerate charge you have. Which brings me to the importance of learning to dex his specials fully. Because if his SP1's last hit hits a block, he automatically gains smolder charges, as well as with his SP2, last hits also give him smolder. So if you are blocking any of those, you're giving him more fuel for the fire. <laughs> no pun intended. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama, all that stuff helps me out, and remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch you on the flip. Learn a little sense, take a lesson, learn it all.